Today, we're gonna to celebrate the 60 year anniversary of the Enchanted Tiki Room at the Disneyland Resort. The world was first introduced to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, brought to you by United Airlines on June 23rd, 1963. It was also the first ride, show, or attraction to include the use of audio animatronics. We started with this, and now we get this. My personal interest in Tiki can probably be traced back to the Enchanted Tiki Room as a kid. A combination of the Tiki Room, the Indiana Jones movies, the Indiana Jones Adventure Ride, and just Adventureland overall is where I first got into this stuff. While Trader Sam's is not physically inside of Disneyland, it continues that Adventureland theme and is one of my favorite bars anywhere. The Tiki 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 Rum is a drink on the menu at Trader Sam's and is a riff on a painkiller. But instead of only making just one drink to honor the Tiki Room, let's make three Trader Sam's cocktails, including the Tiki 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 Rum, the Angolata, and the Safari Swizzle. I'm gonna make all three drinks right now, and then we can taste test them all at the same time. There are various versions of each recipe online, none of which I was able to confirm, so I just went with what I thought looked best, but I do not guarantee that these are the exact Disney recipes, and I'm totally okay with that. For the Tiki 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 Rum, you'll need rum, cream of coconut, pineapple juice, and orange juice. You're gonna build this in a drink mixer tin with half an ounce of orange juice, two ounces of pineapple juice, one ounce of cream of coconut, and two ounces of rum. Add eight ounces of ice to your drink mixer tin and flash blend this for just five seconds. Fill your glass with eight ounces of ice and open pour. I'm gonna garnish this with a slice of orange and some freshly grated nutmeg, which I always keep in my pocket. And there you go, the Tiki 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 Rum. That's five Tiki's from Trader Sam's. Next up from the Trader Sam's menu, we're gonna make the Angolata. And for this one, you'll need Smith & Cross rum, cream of coconut, Angostura bitters, lime juice, and pineapple juice. Build this in a drink mixer tin, starting with one ounce of lime juice, two ounces of pineapple juice, one and a half ounces of cream of coconut, one and a half ounces of Angostura bitters, and half an ounce of Smith & Cross rum. Add eight ounces of ice to your drink mixer tin and flash blend this for five seconds. Fill a glass with four to eight ounces of ice, depending on the size of your glass, and open pour. Garnish with pineapple wedge, a pineapple leaf, and a straw. And there it is, the Angolata from Trader Sands at the Disneyland Hotel. And last but not least from the Trader Sam's menu, we're gonna make the Safari Swizzle. And for this one, you'll need mint, agave, lime juice, and a 151 rum. For the Safari Swizzle, we're gonna build this one inside of a Collins glass, starting with four to six mint leaves, one ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of agave syrup, and one and a half ounces of Hamilton 151, or your favorite 151. 
I like to fill the glass up about halfway with the ice and swizzle. I find this is a little bit easier than filling it all the way to the top. Once you get some dilution in there, add some more ice and keep swizzling. And this drink works best with crushed ice, but if you're using nugget ice, then you can always use your bar spoon instead. Garnish with mint. And I reserved about half an ounce of Angostura bitters for a float. Just pour it right on top. And there you go, Safari Swizzle from Trader Sam's. These are all great looking drinks. I think that I've had each one of these at Trader Sam's and I tried to make them as fast as possible, but um, these two have been out a little bit longer. So let's start first with the Tiki 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 Rum. That's fantastic. It's a painkiller. I don't order painkillers that often. I've, I've probably only had a handful ever. One of my favorite aspects of the painkiller is that nutmeg or any uh, cocktail that calls for nutmeg on the top. It's not gonna change the way it tastes, but it's just such a great smell as like you're bringing that closer to your face. The recipes I've seen online calls for Pirate XO Rum, which I don't have on hand. So I just used Appleton Signature, but I actually think in this drink, it would be better to use something that is even more flavorful. So an Appleton 12, a Karuba, maybe a blend using some Smith Across. The rum does get really lost here. You know, overall, it's it's not overly sweet. It's just, there's not enough of a balance there with the rums. Now, I took some liberties here. So the one that you might get at Trader Sam's could be you know, much different than this. But if I was doing this again, I'd definitely change the rum, but I still like it, it's still good. I'm actually gonna jump ahead because I've had Angeladas before. And while I like them, they can kind of overwhelm your palate because they are so bitter. I don't know if the 151 and Angostura is gonna help here, but let's try the Safari Swizzle. I love that. It's uh, not breaking any ground here. It's a swizzle with 151. I already know what this one's gonna taste like, but after having this one, which is sweet and decadent, you're just really getting the spirit here. While I do enjoy the Tiki 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 Rum, it is sweet, it is decadent. This is just mainly spirit. Uh, there is enough ice in there that it does dilute that 151. It doesn't taste like you're drinking 151. And another reason I like this is because the way I like to make mojitos is I don't like muddling the mint. I don't like when we get shards of mint in the drink. So the mint did disperse. You're getting that mint flavor. You're getting the mint from you bring it up to your nose. And, uh, you know, I should probably mix in the Angostura here. Yeah, that definitely changes things. Uh, it tastes much more like Angostura bitters now. Now, the amount you should use for that float, it's probably not half an ounce, probably more like a quarter of an ounce or less. Kind of over poured when I was making this one, so I had to put it aside and didn't want to put it back in the bottle. So I used a full half ounce here. And uh, overall, I like it. Other the way it looks too. And as the Angostura is kind of separating into the drink here, you're getting a nice, cool look ingredient. The drink is kind of, I think, the least interesting out of all of them on paper. And I thought even in the glassware, but I actually like the way that looks. It's got a nice little gradient there. Um, I'm sure it's in my mind too, but I'm thinking Safari Swizzle it has a sort of sunset look. It's a great looking drink as well. All right, the Angolata. Some of that's tasting a little milder than the Safari Swizzle. I think I just got a big punch of Angostura in that one, uh, on that sip I took. For those of you that have not had an Angolata, it's a pina colada with your base spirit of Angostura bitters, kind of taking on um, the same type of flavor as a Trinidad Sour. If you're making a bunch of these, it's gonna be one of the more expensive cocktails you can make. And that's why I just have an extra, the big bottle on hand. If you're gonna be making these, you don't wanna use the little Angostura bottles. It's only gonna get you a couple of cocktails. It's kind of fun having these side by side. They're similar drinks, but you know, totally different too. Angolata is a lot more savory. It's a lot more complex. It's definitely not as sweet. You're getting sort of overwhelmed by the bitterness in a very good way. And if you really do like Angostura bitters and you've not had an Angolata, then this is a must try drink this summer. And none of these drinks are completely new drinks. We're not reinventing the wheel here. But what I do like is that when you think about theme parks and theme park bars, most of them are not great. And it's a lot of batched cocktails or cocktails that are coming out of machines. And they usually don't have a pretty high proportion of rum or spirit to mixer, but the Trader Sam's 
bars are different. Trader Sam's is a real bar that has real drinks and the bartenders there are amazing. The drinks there are amazing. And each one of these is a fantastic drink. And I'm not surprised because every time I've been to Trader Sam's, I've enjoyed all of their cocktails. So that's it. The Tiki 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 Rum in honor of the 60th anniversary of the Enchanted Tiki Room at the Disneyland Resort. And two more cocktails, the Angelata and the Safari Swizzle. I like all of these. I think these are all wonderful cocktails. They all serve a different purpose here too. Something a little more sweet, more familiar, something that's bitter and more intense. And then um, surprisingly, a refreshing long drink. Even though we're using 151, it gets diluted in there. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give the video a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you wanna check out a couple more videos, you can check out two videos right here. And I got some work to do because I'm gonna finish all of these. See you on the next one. It was fabulous.